So let's start solving exercise four for, from the second worksheet. In this exercise, we are considering an injective entire function. I want to prove that this function is very special. So first we will going to prove that that is a polynomial. And then we are going to prove that this polynomial has degree one. So let's, uh, let's start the, the proof and we are going to prove proof point one by contradiction. So we prove the first point by contradiction. So assume that F is not a polynomial. Then we can apply a result that uh, you saw during the lecture. And we know that for every, for every R, positive, the image of C minus a disk of radius R centered zero. This is dense in C. Now this you saw uh, in the lecture. So this was proved in the lecture. So this means that we have our point zero here, and then our disk of radius R. Around here, disk of radius R. And then we know that the image of the complement of this disk, so here outside, the image of uh, what's outside is dense in C. But so what does it mean to be dense? So let's write down uh, the definition. So what does it mean to be dense? So this means the following thing. This means that for every W in C and for every neighborhood of W, neighborhood U of W, There exist there exist an element of f of c minus dr zero in u. So this is the same as saying that there exist some z in C, which is not in dr0. Uh, so it, this means that the norm of z is bigger than zero with the property that f of z is an element of u. Okay, so if my w is here, then for every neighborhood of W, so some open set containing W, this is U, I can find some Z in this part here outside, which is mapped by F inside the neighborhood. So this is uh, what I, uh, I know from uh, the lecture. And now we are going to use 
a very uh, important property of holomorphic function, namely the open mapping theorem. So now we are going to look at what happens to points which are in the region dr0. And now what I want to show is that I want to find a point that it's also mapped to f of z. We now find a point, let's call it z1 inside the, the disk, such that f of z1 is equal to f of z. Now, this is the contradiction that we want. This is a contradiction. Why? Because we suppose that f was injective. While if what we we write here is true, we found another point, Z1, going to the same, to the same point. So this means exactly that the, the map F is not injective. So what we have to do now, we want to prove this statement. So we want to find this point Z1 in the disk such that f of z1 is equal to f of z. So this is now to prove. And now are we going to uh, do this? We are going to, to prove this statement using the open mapping theorem. So let's use the open mapping theorem. So what does the open mapping theorem say? So this says that since F is not, so, or maybe let's write this in general. So what does the theorem say? So if G is a function from some open set V into C, so V is open, and G is holomorphic and not constant, then G of V is also open. So this is um, what the open mapping theorem say. And we are going now to apply this theorem for, for um, G equal to F and we take as V the disk dr0. So we apply this theorem. With G equal to F, so F is not constant because it's injective. And V equal to the, the disk of radius of radius zero. So then F 
f of dr zero is open in c and therefore it's therefore is a neighborhood of f of zero which we can take to be equal to small w okay then what we know is that this f of dr0 is a neighborhood of this w so um, taking now u equal to this f of dr zero we see that f of z it's an element of u but this is also equal to f of dr zero so this means that f of z is equal to f of z1 for some z1 in this disk oh, and this is exactly what we what we wanted to prove so let me recap here what we uh, what we have done so we have said that we can use the open mapping theorem and we can use this to the function f on the disk centered at zero with radius r so what we what we see now so we are considering here f restricted to this region and we know that if we do this uh, we take this uh, this choice then the image of w equal to f of zero and then if we take u equal to f of dr zero then you see that all, all this all this set u it's a neighborhood of w and it's and it's uh, the image of the disk so this implies that there is some z1 here also going on f of z so this is also equal to f of z1 and this is a contradiction while we said that f was injective okay so this shows that f must be a polynomial so we have shown that f is a polynomial so the second thing we have to, sh to show so let's show that f has degree one So we know that if f is a polynomial, we can factorize it by the fundamental theorem of algebra. So of algebra, we know that f of z is equal 
to some uh, non-zero constant c times z minus z0 times z minus z1 and so on until z minus zn where n is the degree of the polynomial so now if f has two distinct roots let's say z uh, h and z k then f of z h equal to zero and f of z k is also equal to zero which implies that f is not injective and this again a contradiction So this means that all the roots are the same. Then all the roots must be the same. Okay, so z0 equal to z1 equal to zn. So this means that f of z can be rewritten as c times z minus z0 to the n. Okay, now let's see that uh, we have to have n equal to one in order to have a, an injective function. So let's consider the equation equation f of z equal to c. Sorry, let's put it here. The equation f of z equal to c. So this equation has n solutions. Why? Because f is c times z minus z0 to the n equal to c. So this C and C go away because C is different from zero. And now we get Z minus Z zero to the N equal to one, which implies that Z is Z zero plus E to the two pi I over N times K for K equal to zero, one, and minus one. Also these numbers here are exactly the, the, nth, root, the nth roots of unity. So these are, the, these are the, the numbers in the, in the unit circle. So this is here, e to the two pi i, n times zero, this is one. Then here we have e to the two pi i over n times one and so on. So these are endpoints on the circle and these endpoints give us these n solutions. So since f is injective, f of z equal to c can have only one solution. Hence, n must be equal to one. Okay, because otherwise you see these numbers here are solutions of the equation f of z equal to c and they are exact there are exactly n of them so we must only have one solution so n must be equal to to one so this uh, then finishes also the second part of the exercise thank you for your attention